So what about the baptism of John? That's the question that Jesus turned things around on the scribes and the Pharisees, those who had come into the temple, to ask Jesus, by what authority do you teach here? And we find this in the 21st chapter of the uh, book of Matthew. This is after the time that Jesus had entered triumphantly into the city, and he'd kind of set up shop there. And now he was teaching every day, and the crowds were coming. And, of course, those who were the powers to be, they they were not happy about it, very angry. And they came to him with this question, what is your authority here? And then Jesus asked him about John. He said, uh, the baptism of John, he says, is it of man or of heaven? And, of course, uh, they knew that they were trapped here because if they said that the baptism of John was from heaven, then they would be in a situation to where those who were of religious authority would come down upon them and say, that's heresy and you're teaching heresy. But they knew better than to say that John was not a prophet because they believed he was a prophet. And so they just said, we're not going to answer the question. And Jesus said, well, then I'm not going to answer your question either. But let me tell you a story. And he told him a story about a man who had a vineyard. And he said to one of his sons, he said, go work in the vineyard today. Well, the son was uh, kind of had an attitude. And he said, no, I'm not going to. And then he went to the second son and said, go work in the vineyard today. And the second son says, okay, I'll go. But then he didn't go. And so now we have this situation. One son says, I'm not going to go. The other says, I'm going to go, but I didn't go. But then the first son, he repented. And he went on to the vineyard and did the day's work. So as Jesus has taken that as an opportunity to teach he said to them, he said, uh, you people, he said, talking about these who had come to ask this question about the authority of Jesus, he said that uh, the tax collectors are the publicans and the harlots. They will go to heaven or be in the kingdom of God before you because he says these people who first came to hear the teaching of John. And we're talking about people who were um, in life, the, who would be the, the underlevel of society as publicans and harlots. They would come to hear John preach his message of repentance and the coming of the Messiah. And at first they may have rejected it, but then later they received it. And you see, that's the question that Jesus is putting back to them. He says, why is it? You say that John is a prophet, but yet you don't believe it, and you didn't receive the message that he preached, and this message of repentance, because you're still doing the same things you did before, and you're no closer to heaven than you ever were. Because you see, the truth of the matter is, is that as a parable that Jesus gave about the sower, he said the sower went forth to sow the seed, and the seed fell upon ground that received the seed and there was a change repentance took place they turned from their carnal person to receive the spirit of truth that's the message my friend of the gospel this is pastor jack king with the gospel on the radio broadcast